Joining me now here on the MA Report, I'm going to be part of LFA 86, July the 24th. He takes on Eric Murray Jr., Fabio Chiron. Fabio, man, I appreciate the time. It has certainly been a while since uh, you've been able to, to step inside competition. Uh, how would you describe the last 12 months? Wow, last couple of months. Um, it's been uh, really stressful, you know. Um, the area I live in has been super shut down. There's like, uh, the gyms aren't, the gyms are just now starting to open up, you know. Um, so it's, it's, been, it's been crazy. Um, the last like three months with me, my teammates, and uh, my boxing coach, we've been like sneaking into the gym at like 4 a.m. to like work out in the morning and then get home and do nothing. You know, and um, yeah, it's been it's been a stressful stressful couple of months. I, I've talked to a lot of fighters, uh, you know, over the last you know month, two months, and you know they kind of talked about it as like you know, it, it's easy to kind of look at the negative aspects of things, you know, but they they try to say, okay, how can I how can I make a positive out of all this? And you know, a lot of them you know have tend to say that you know, hey, I'm I'm looking at what can I improve on? How, how do I make things better? How, is there something I can do different in my training to, to level up? Is that, is there, has there been something over the past couple of months that you've just like, it, this, this additional time has allowed you to kind of look at yourself in, in terms of, of your fighting abilities and maybe it, it made, made you open up your eyes to something else. Um, it's helped me get my strike, uh, my boxing a lot better. And um, it, it's helped me also, like, heal my body, you know. Um, past two and, a half, two and a half, three years, I've just been beating on my body, you know. And, like, I finally have had some time to, like, let my body heal and, like, and, and just relax for a little bit, which was awesome. In terms of relaxing, is it just kind of just sitting there and kind of like all of us, you know, you, you watch some things on TV or what, what's relaxing to you? Sitting in my bed, watching TV and eating a lot of food. Is, is it, uh, as, as now obviously you're getting close to that fight, is there some food items that you're like, oh man, I really want that, but I can't, I can't indulge. Not really, you know, um. Uh, and I like, I still eat the same way I, uh, in, 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 out of camp, you know what I mean? Uh, I just don't eat like Chinese food or something, you know, that's probably like, that's probably like the worst feet. That's probably the worst food I eat on a daily, you know, it's Chinese food. In terms of, of your opponent, uh, Eric here, what, what's kind of your thoughts on, on him as an opponent and the challenges that he's going to offer you? He's cool. Um, yeah, he's cool. Yeah, he, uh, he stays busy. Yeah. In terms of your thoughts on the fight, what what do you see as your key to victory? He's fucked. Um, I guess I, I've been. I, I've been in the booth, you know, just just grinding, grinding, and, and not knowing when I'm gonna fight again. So this is awesome to me, you know. I, I just I have zero stress on this fight, and that which makes it so much better, you know. And and I'm gonna go in there, and I'm really I'm really gonna hurt this dude, really gonna hurt him. You mentioned about not having any stress for this one. Is that something you've had to deal with in previous fights? No, no, no. I mean, like, stress, like, fight stress, like, fight, like, dealing with fight week problems, dealing with weigh-ins, dealing with all that stuff. Like, like I don't have to worry about the BS, like, you know, like, I'm not thinking, oh, man, I'm about to get into a fight with this guy. Like he's actually good. Like there's a chance I might lose. There's this, there's that. There's that, that that stress. I'm not not thinking about it. And you know, it's not even a. It hasn't even been a thought in my head. You know what I mean? Um, I as soon as I watched him, 
I watched this film and I was just like, all right, we're good. You know, like I, I, my coach has seen it, my teammates seen it, and they're just like, yeah, we're good. You know. After not having a fight for a year, is kind of uh, is your hope that uh, you know this is maybe you know one of two to to three more fights for this year? We'll see what happens, but I'm hoping. Yeah, I'm hoping it's one to two. You know, um, I don't know. I'm ready to prove. I'm ready to prove that where I belong. You know, I'm ready to show people where I belong, and. It's just depending on on what happens with with the world right now, you know. Mm -hmm. And of course, everyone's going to see your fight here coming up on July the twenty fourth, LFA eighty six. Fabio, man, I, I appreciate the time. Of course, uh, let everyone know anything about you on social media and anything else you want to mention. Not really, man. Um, just follow me on Instagram, uh, Buffalo MMA. Same thing on Twitter. 